Archaeologists have found in the Middle East, in several places in the Mediterranean, a farming implement which is called the tribulum. The tribulum is shaped like a sled. And underneath it has these sharp edged stones and flint attached to the bottom of this sled-like implement. And what they would do is, after they've harvested the wheat, they would then drag this sled, this tribulum, with its sharp stones and flint at the bottom over the harvested wheat. And that would then cause a separation of the wheat kernel from the chaff and from the stalk. And they would then be able to have the wheat separated easily from the chaff, the tribulum. You know, that is where we get the word tribulation from. And the Bible is full of that word tribulation. Jesus said that there is a great tribulation coming. And he had in mind his own followers who would go through a great tribulation before the end of time comes and Jesus appears. Tribulation. He also says, the Bible also says that we will go through much tribulation in order to enter the kingdom of heaven. But then the Bible also says that no tribulation will separate us from the love of God. And we should glory in tribulation because it produces perseverance, says the Bible. And once again, Jesus said that we will go through great tribulation, but not to fear it, not to worry about it, because he says, in this world, yes, you will find tribulation, but I have overcome the world. And it's almost as if tribulation is something in the hands of God that has a good purpose, whereas we would see it normally as something that is destructive and hurtful to us. That is one of the paradoxes in following Jesus. You cannot go as a follower of Jesus through life and not go through tribulation. But it's not like you're going through it alone. Jesus came to this world and he experienced the worst tribulation, even separation from his Father. But for us, that tribulation has a good ending, a good result. It is something that we can benefit from. In fact, we can patiently endure tribulation knowing that its end is worthwhile just as the kernel of wheat is separated from the chaff. What tribulation are you going through today? May it be that you will see in it an opportunity to trust Jesus who will bring about something so worthwhile in the end that you will say, I needed that in order to be what Jesus wants me to be. My name is Ivan Blake. I'm senior pastor of the Fletcher Seventh-day Adventist Church. Our purpose is to lift, people, lift Jesus up and, and, and love people in. You'll be able to check us out on our website, www.fletcher.sta.org.